Hello everyone, my name is Professor Vishal Shinde, currently working as Assistant Professor in Department of Mechanical Engineering of MAP's KBTCOE Nasik. Today, I am going to explain you again one of the important topic of production planning and control that is aggregate production planning. We can also call it as APP. So what exactly aggregate, aggregate production planning? So basically in my previous video, I already explained you what is the production planning and control and the detailed concept of production planning and control. Now today we will see APP that is aggregate planning, aggregate production planning. So aggregate planning involve planning the best quantity to produce in the intermediate uh, range horizon that is the three month to one year and planning the lowest cost method of providing the adjustable capacity to accommodate the production requirements. So this is the a simple concept of aggregate production planning. It also determine the quantity and timing of the production for the immediate future. So production planning but that is the we can call is simply a future production planning. Then intermediate range capacity planning that usually covering 2 to 24 months or 1 to 18 months planning basically. Okay. So the goal is to achieve the goal of production planning. So goal is to achieve the production plan that will effectively utilize the organization's resources to satisfy expected demand. Okay, so for that purpose, we will require planning and that is nothing but aggregate production planning to achieve the goal of production plan. Okay, so now moving towards uh, next slide. So objective of aggregate production planning. So the basic objective is to minimize the cost over the planning period by adjusting the following particular parameters. Okay, so which are the different parameters? So first one is by adjusting the production rate, then by adjusting the labor level, then by adjusting the inventory levels, then by adjusting the overtime work, again by adjusting the subcontracting rates and other controllable variable. So by adjusting all these things, you can minimize the cost over the planning period. So basically, uh, you can see the inputs and outputs. Next important topic that is the, which are the different inputs and which are the different output to the aggregate production planning that is the A. P, P. So you can see from this particular sketch, aggregate production planning. So right hand side of the slide will give you the brief idea regarding which are the inputs and which are the outputs uh, required for the aggregate production planning. So you can see on the top, uh, top hand side, different inputs are there. So you can see the capacity constraint, then strategic objectives, then demand forecast, then company policies and financial constraints are the input to the aggregate production planning and which are the different objectives so the size of workforce then production per month in units then inventory levels and unit or dollars subcontracted back order or lost so these are the some output of aggregate production planning so all of you uh, um, got the clear idea of objectives and which are the inputs and outputs to the aggregate production planning. I hope you will get uh, got the clear concept. Now, basically we will see the steps involved in the procedure of aggregate production planning. So there are several steps in general procedure for the aggregate production planning. So we will see which are the different steps present in A. P, P. So first of all, determine the demand for each period. So this is the first step. Then second step, determine capacities for the time interval that is the regular time, overtime and subcontracting for each period. So this is the second step. Now next step will be identify company or departmental policies that are pertinent that is maintain a safety stock of 5% of demand maintain a reasonably stable workforce so this is your third step the next step will be determine unit cost for regular time overtime and subcontracting holding inventories back order layoffs and other relevant cost so you have to determine all unit cost about these all parameters then 
next step will be develop alternative plans and compute the cost for each activity okay so you have to develop the alternative plan and the compute the cost for each and every activity and the next step will be if satisfactory plan emerge then select one that best satisfy objectives otherwise return to step number five so these are the several steps involved in aggregate production planning so this is regarding the detailed concept of aggregate production planning now in next slide we will see uh, the importance of aggregate production planning that is app so aggregate production planning or aggregate planning plays an important part in achieve the long term objective of the organization this is very important concept keep in mind that is app plays an important part or important role in achieving the long term objective of any organization okay now we will see one uh, more importance of the app that is uh, aggregate planning helps in achieving the financial goals by reducing overall variable cost and improving the bottom line so this is the first important then the second important will be the maximum utilization of the available production facility you that is it is a possible with the help of aggregate production planning so uh, how you can explain the maximum utilization of available production facility available resources available manpower is possible with the help of aggregate production planning then third importance will be uh, the aggregate production pl uh, planning provide customer delight by matching demand and reducing wait time for the customers the next important that is the importance number four will be it reduce investment in inventory stocking so this is an important uh, important uh, topic in aggregate production planning then next importance uh, will be it that is aggregate production planning able to meet scheduling goals thereby creating a happy and satisfied workforce again the happy and satisfied workflows work is way uh, very important for every organization so, and it is possible with the help of aggregate production planning so these are the some important importance of aggregate production planning now in next slide we will see basically the planning process okay so we will not so uh, not see in detail the aggregate production planning concepts and all these things we will just take a overview so basically the planning process you know basically uh, the planning task and horizon is here so uh, what is the planning process for the top executives then what is the planning process for the operation managers and what is the what will be the operation manager and supervisor and foreman responsibility so particular this slide or this diagram give you the brief idea regarding what are the different responsibilities of top executives then operational managers and supervisor and foreman so you can see uh, from this particular uh, diagram on left hand side responsibility of that particular category is given and here on right hand side the planning task and horizons are mentioned okay now we will see from top side so first uh, what we can see the first thing is top executive so what are the responsibilities of top executives and what are their planning tasks and horizon so for top executives they are uh, estimating or they are responsible for long range plans that is over one year then r and d section then new products plan then capacity investment and facility location that is the uh, layouts and all these things and expansion okay so these are the some planning tasks and horizon for the top executives now at the middle one that is responsibility of operational managers and what are their planning task and horizon so that is the intermediate range plans that is a 3 to 18 months will be decided by the operational manager okay then the sales planning is primary responsibility of operational managers also then again next responsibility will be production planning and budgeting also then the setting employment then inventory then subcontracting the levels and analyzing the operating plans are the planning tasks and horizon for the 
middle level that is the operational manager so very simple concept now the last one will be uh, the uh, third category operational managers supervisor and foreman so what are their responsibility so they are responsible to decide the short range plan that is up to three months okay then the job assignments that is a super that is the duty of supervisor and foreman in any industry that is a job assignment then ordering then job scheduling then dispatching okay so uh, that is the dispatching is one of the important department that is the dispatch department in industry then overtime so overtime is a total what is the again overtime is very important concept and uh, who is responsible for that that is a supervisor and four months are responsible then part time help so these are the uh, planning tasks and decision made by the operation manager or supervisor and four months so this is actually the in detail planning process so this is in detail the aggregate production planning okay i hope you all got the clear cut concept of aggregate production planning if you like my video and if you like my previous videos then please subscribe to my channel thank you